Hey everybody, Tim Tibbetts here with MajorGeeks.com and today we're going to take a look at the new version 5 of Advanced System Care Free. Um, you've probably seen a couple of videos already before so I will try and show you what's new on here and just give you a brief overview of using the program and see if we can't get this done in under five minutes and without my dog barking at me, he's looking at me all strange because I'm apparently talking to myself. New in the advanced system care is the cloud online. This will keep track of the latest database and rules from the server. Always a good idea because if they find any small issues, bugs, updates, you're always going to have them. That is a new feature. The other new feature is the active boost. You can click this at any time and disable it, but basically it tries to figure out what programs need to run, which ones don't need processes, programs, as well as optimizing the CPU and the RAM. I like this. I've had no issues with it so far. And actually, it's quite the undertaking to have this work correctly, so it's a very impressive little utility. And that's what's new in here beyond all the different sections. It's The layout remains exactly the same. You have your quick care uh, with the details, scan, scan, and repair, your deep care, your toolbox, and your turbo boost. And down here to the bottom, you will see that you can keep track of what condition your PC health is considered. In my case, as you see, I haven't run it in a few days, so it's considering me fair. So with the quick care, which I like about this is if you were told you needed a drive cleaner, defragmentation, all these different things, you'd probably have to go out and probably get 30 different utilities to get what you get in the advanced system care. Now a few of them are shareware so you'd actually have to buy the program to get everything but it's a $20 program. I think I saw it recently at $12.97 so occasionally you can get it even cheaper. And if you compare that to the other programs on the market it's a very fair price. So here's your quick care. You can take a look at your details. If you want to skip some things like a malware removal you can simply uncheck them which would speed up how long it takes to scan. You can come back anytime if you want to get into the deep care. As you can see, there's quite a few more things that's going to do than the basic care is. I've run this a few times with no issues, actually, both the quick care and the deep care. Now, the toolbox is sweet if you want to get geeky with it. Once again, view your details, and you will notice in spots where it says Pro, this means that you're not going to be able to run it in the free version. But as you can see, you don't get your registry cleaner, but you're getting your uninstaller, your disk cleaner, your file shredder your RAM manager, your startup manager, your defragmentation, uh, your undelete, your shortcut fixer. I mean, you got there's a few things that are paid, but it's a very, very fair program for what they're asking for it. And let's shoot back here. As you can see, they put shortcuts to the simplest stuff here, like the driver manager, registry cleaner, something people use quite a bit. Uh, this is one downside I did run into, the driver manager. I did a scan, it won't do us any good now, and it picked up my NVIDIA drivers needed updating, which I knew in my video card. So I clicked it, it opened a web page, took me to the correct web page to download the drivers, which I did, and off I went. The problem is it didn't detect my real tech audio drivers were out of date, which is a pretty common sound card, and I'd probably guess my motherboard drivers might be back a version. This is probably one of the not so impressive tools built into advanced system care. I'd like to see them put a little more work into a full feature driver manager on this someday and I'm sure they probably will once they hear some complaints about it. And finally over here you have your turbo boost which you can basically boost at any point but it looks like they added a new thing. They've broken it down now you know you have your IOBit uh, game booster. So you've got your game mode and your work mode and the differences can be looked at by hitting next and deciding what you want. For example if you're working there's a lot of different processes you're going to want to keep running as opposed to gaming. You can disable printer services and, and a lot of things that you see here if you were gaming and vice versa. So I really dig this new setup here. As you can see you work your way through a few separate sections and finalize and of course once you get it set up you can simply just come in and boost now at any given point point. Um, and as we mentioned before not a big deal but you can come in here check for updates uh, you can do your settings which I, as I showed in some of the other videos th this could take you an hour to do uh, <laughs> I mean just going through step after step after step but for the most part consider the fact that IOBit advanced system care is pretty much ready to run out of the box you need an all-in-one utility it's for you. You need to get geeky and play around in here with the toolbox and, and do some certain things. It's here. The majority of it is free. And again, from depending on the price, from $13 to $20. 
as shareware goes. It's probably one of the best deals on the market. That about covers Advanced System Care 5. We just missed five minutes, but the dog didn't bark. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.